Well, the details have been murky and hidden purposely from the start, but a new published report details just how many boys may have been victimized by former House Speaker Dennis Hastert. CBS 2's Brad Edwards is live outside the Dirksen Federal Building to explain. Brad. Good evening, dear Erica. Tomorrow, prosecutors could outline more about alleged abuse. Former Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert now facing accusations from four. That the number of Hastert accusers per a Chicago Tribune investigation. Four young men who'd meet Hastert in his teaching coaching days at Yorkville High School. Hastert now hoping for no jail time, in part claiming he's ill. It's very similar to the cases of priest abuse. The old and sick card is one she's seen as head of an advocacy group of priest abuse survivors. Whether Dennis Hastert is sick now or not, the bottom line is that he should go to jail. The victim at the center of the allegation was paid $1.7 million in hush money by Hastert. The Tribune discovered the victim at the time was in debt, out of work, and desperate. And it's the lying and the payout process that got Hastert in trouble. The exhaustive Tribune investigation identified three of the four accusers. One long deceased. We know one of the victims of, of Denny Hastert ended up dying of AIDS. Well, would he have even experienced, have, have, have been exposed to AIDS had he not been sexually violated when he was a youngster? He's only facing time, though, for the hush money payout. Sentencing officially later this month, April 27th. Hastert could face up to six months behind bars. He could get no time at all. We're live outside the Dirksen Federal Building. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Back to you guys. All right, Brad. Thank you.